Well, welcome back. A new innovative app is shaping the future of cancer care. ChemoWave helps patients track their mood, conditions, and symptoms, which allow them to then share with their doctors. This results in more personalized treatment and helps chemotherapy patients better manage the side effects. We want to bring in the creator of ChemoWave, Matt Lashie, is with us, and his partner, Rick Grinnell, who is a former spokesperson to U.S. ambassadors to the U.N., Fox News contributor, and a cancer survivor his, himself. Great to see you both. Thanks Thank you so us. much for joining us. And we wanted to do this segment because this has actually helped you, Rick. Yeah, tremendously. Tell I mean, us about it. Imagine going through six rounds of chemo, not really knowing what to do. I, I was healthy when I got this diagnosis, but I quickly found that medications and the side effects and how much water I was drinking all could affect me in a positive way because Matt was actually mapping this out on an Excel spreadsheet and showing this whole process to the doctor at the City of Hope. Our doctor is Stephen Foreman, who's world-renowned, and he was shocked at the, the data that he could get from Matt's creation. It's amazing because we use data with everything else, Matt. I mean, you created ChemoWave after seeing Rick fight for his life, right? Mm -hmm. Tell us about how ChemoWave works. It essentially gives control to patients in a seemingly out of control situation. Uh, in the U.S. alone, 1.7 million patients are diagnosed with cancer every year, and each one of them is different. And this app, ChemoWave, aims to help them understand what is connected to their highs and lows. Uh, through correlation analysis, we can help them understand if there's a medication that might be causing them to have a certain side effect, or uh, the impact of exercise, or how much water they're drinking, how beneficial that is. Because when you're, when you're sick and you're in it, the doctor has told you drink more water, do this, but, but you don't do it. Right. right. <laughs> One of the things that's really funny is that when you go into your doctor's uh, appointment with your doctor, your doctor will say, well, how are you feeling? And you really only tell the doctor how you're feeling that day. You forget the week before, the, the two weeks prior. So what the app does is really take with you into this appointment a spreadsheet of how you've done on medication, uh, maybe a visit from uh, a loved one who's picked you up. Um, as you know, medication side effects are enormous, and no one is able to keep track of this, but the app really does. Right. And we've been working on this for three years. Uh, we're excited that it launched over two weeks ago uh, for free on iTunes, and now we're focused on uh, getting it available for people with Android phones because the more data that we collect, the more that we'll be able to inform research organizations, uh, the more that we'll be able to help clinical trial companies uh, with patient-centric patient innovation. What data was most important from your standpoint? When you look at all of the data collected, what was most important in really educating you in terms of what's going on? Well, the dirty little secret is that most of the side effects that are caused by chemotherapy can be managed, and patients have options. But the way that our society is sort of set up, that it's, uh, it's, it can be such an overwhelming experience, uh, this empowers them to take control. So uh, whether it's exercise was a big one for Rick, uh, 30 minutes a day, he could really actually see how much better he felt, not just on the day of, but in days following. And when you're in that situation, sometimes it's hard to get out of bed, but when you can actually see that quantified, it really motivates you to get out of bed. So sometimes did... exercise was going to the mailbox. <laughs> sure. It, literally, I couldn't get out of bed, but I could go to the mailbox, and then I felt empowered because I could see, wow, getting up, drinking water, going to the mailbox mm -hmm. made me feel a little bit better. You could see it on a map. And it's another big amazing. thing was medications. Uh, you know, Rick uh, responded negatively to an anti-nausea medication that he was taking. His doctor switched it out, Dr. Foreman, and it alleviated his side effects. So patients need to understand that there's options, and yeah. ChemoWave is designed to help them this understand what those options are. Really important, and and you actually changed your behavior as a result of what you were learning. You exercised Absolutely. more, you did different things. Well, at first I thought, what are you doing? You're asking me all these questions. Right, sure. And but as soon as I saw the benefit. And as soon as I saw that I could help control this wave of chemotherapy going through me, I started giving him more information and changing my behavior. It was, I really maximized my treatment. Such an important mm -hmm. story. We appreciate you bringing it to us. Thanks. Where do you think we are in the fight against cancer, Matt? We're making progress, yes. and our hope is that uh, chemo wave will certainly catalyze that, the progress that's yeah. being made. Well, that's, that, that's the hopeful uh, part of it, because this is such a killer that we all 
watch every day uh, affect our loved ones. Before you go, Rick, I want to ask you about the speculation out there. It has been reported that the president has offered you the job of ambassador to Germany. Have you accepted? Well, I think the only thing that I'll say right now is uh, I'm very supportive of this president, and wherever he wants to put me, I will uh, gladly serve him and the American people. Would that be something that you would like to be the ambassador to Germany? Well, you know, diplomacy has always been something that I'm interested in. I, I think if you want to avoid war, if you want to avoid military action, you have to be for uh, diplomatic muscle. And I think we need more diplomats who are muscular in their forcefulness in trying to represent the United States. We sure do. Rick, thanks for sharing your story today. Thanks. We appreciate it. Thanks Matt, congratulations to you. Thank and you. And thanks for your great service. Uh, Kima Wave is the company. Rick Rennell and Matt Lashy. We'll take